Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with a new video and it's actually going to be a foundation wear test. So this is my first impressions on the new Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. So if you're interested in finding out my thoughts, then please stay tuned. And when this foundation dropped on the app, I was like, okay, this looks very intriguing. And I was like, okay, I need this. So this is Sephora's new foundation, of course. Um, and what they really wanted to hype up is that it was only, I believe, $20 American and $25 Canadian. So in terms of pricing, I was like, okay, that is very cheap. Um, and then like I've been shopping and I've noticed there's been some new drugstore releases in Canada. The new Physicians Formula Foundation is $23.99. The new Revlon Colorstay Light is $21.99. So foundations in the drugstore are creeping up. And then I was like, okay, there's this Sephora foundation that, you know, is, you know, higher quality and at a cheaper price. So it definitely caught my eye because of that. So with this foundation, it totes itself as a perfect natural finish long wear foundation with anti-pollution. So that also caught my eye too because I don't really have any anti-pollution foundations. Um, some other things is that it says it hydrates the skin up to 12 hours and it's infused with skincare benefits. So the coverage is also medium, which I'll talk about more in my review. I do have it on already. Um, it says it's a natural finish and it is a more kind of, it's a liquid foundation, but I find that it is kind of thicker. Um, it does have hyaluronic acid, which of course hydrates, um, red algae that also highlights, and a brown algae extract, so that actually gives the anti-pollution shield. Um, it says too that over time it's going to improve your skin um, and kind of get rid of the fatigue um, and make your skin smoother, more radiant. I don't know if that's true. I find that's pretty bold for a foundation, but I'm kind of interested in finding out. Um, this is made in a glass bottle, which is kind of annoying for traveling because I'm always panicked. You know, is it going to break? But real talk, real life, I'm not going to be traveling anytime soon. Um, what I did notice, which it is a little bit smaller. When I saw it, I was kind of surprised. It is only 25 mils. Um, most foundations, like I was looking at the Revlon um, color stay that I do have, the Huda, they're all 30 mils. So this is a little bit tinier for a foundation. So I did kind of take that into consideration. You're, um, you're paying, I guess, like a dollar a mil, a milliliter. Um, so yeah, a dollar an ounce if you're American. Um, so that's kind of something to think about. The shade that I did end up getting is 33N. Um, so basically what I did is I used the the shade matching um, tool on Sephora's website and I based it off of the color that I got for the Anastasia Luminous Foundation because that was like my perfect match. It is a little bit darker because it is winter and I, I have lost some pigmentation on my skin and my tan's kind of gone, um, but I, I think it looks good. Um, I'll have to like blend it on my neck a little bit. Um, but I thought it was a really good match and yeah, so I think the bottle is pretty though now that I'm looking at it, it is kind of like that matte frosted glass. Um, but I'm happy with the match. I think that it worked really well. So basically what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to apply it and then I'm going to do a wear test through the day. Um, and then you can kind of see how it progresses. If it actually is that 12 hour um, guarantee we will see so I will continue to check in through the day and then at the end I will give you my final thoughts okay so before we go into the wear test I just wanted to be upfront with what my skin looks like for those that don't know I'm 31 years old so I am I have an older skin type but not you know so I have like a 30 year old skin type um, dark circles are my worry. I do have a few fine lines, but I'm pretty good on the wrinkle front. Um, my skin is a mixture. It's normal, but it will get a little bit oily in my T-zone. And I find my nose, like foundation, will not stay on my nose. It's very frustrating. Um, I did put a primer on, so I do have the Stellar Beauty Brilliant Primer on. I'm obsessed with this. This is like a late find, and they're not in Sephora anymore, but... 
I am absolutely loving that primer. So I'm just going to, um, what I like to do is I just always like to, I have this old pop beauty palette and I just like to uh, color correct my under eye. Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna do one side with a brush. Um, I'm gonna be using my um, Bare Minerals Perfecting Face Brush. This is not a stranger to my channel. Okay, so on first pump, it's pretty thick, which is good. I do like a thicker foundation. So on my left side, I'm gonna use the brush. It's a little bit darker for me, but it looks good. Um, it's going to look even better when I have a, a tan. Looks like it's like a medium coverage so far. Um, not a huge difference, actually what I'm noticing. Okay, so now I'm going to use a brush. So I'm going to use the, I'm going to put a little bit of Fix Plus, plus on. Um, this is the AOA Studio um, Pop. It's the Papa one. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit on here. And we will see how it looks with this. So I think I definitely like applying it better with a brush than the sponge. I find it doesn't seem to actually be absorbing um, but at first glance it's definitely kind of like a lighter coverage foundation it's not as full as I thought um, I have like a hive I don't know what's going on with my skin but I have a hive that's still there um, that you can see I have some dark spots that you can see um, so so far it looks like kind of like a lighter coverage foundation um, is it my best skin? I'm probably going to say no, um, but I'm going to put more, I'm going to put some product on and then I will come back and kind of show you what it looks like with the full face. Um, and then of course I'll wear it through the day, but I don't know. I can't say I'm amazed and it hasn't like covered anything on my nose, which is really annoying. So yeah, I'm going to have to do the rest of my face and then I'll come back and tell you what I think. Okay, so I have the rest of my makeup on. I think I have lip gloss on my teeth. Um, but I do think it's a nice, like it looks good. Um, like it kind of has, it's kind of matte, but it does have a little bit of like luminosity. Like I noticed like I look a little glowy, um, which is my preferred makeup look. Um, it is about, I don't even know what time it is. I will post the time down below. I think it's around 11 o'clock. Um, I find my dark circles are still kind of pulling through, but maybe it's my concealer, which is the new ordinary one, which I will have a video. If it's not up already, it's going to be after this video. Um, but yeah, like I think it looks a little... I tried like some powder products. I didn't use any cream. Yes, I used a cream bronzer today, but then put powder over it. Um, but so far it's okay with powder products. Um, yeah, I think it's not too bad. I like it better, of course, with all my products on. Um, but we will continue to wear this through the day to see what it's going to look like. Okay, so it is now check-in time. I'm just going to open up. Um, so it's now three, or a little tiny bit after three, so it's been four hours. And actually, I don't mind how this looks. Um, 
I'm not actually too oily. And I have to admit, in my Zoom meeting, my makeup looked really good and my face looked really, like, flawless. Um, but so far, like, it is a little bit more luminous there, but I don't think in a bad way. Like, I'm actually liking this foundation a lot more than I did when I just put it on. I think it's definitely wearing well. Um, and it looks good. Like, I, I'm happy so far. So, four hours in and we are feeling good. Okay, so I am back for my final check-in. It is now a little bit after 9 at night. I would have loved to have worn this for the 12 hours, but I'm an old lady and, like, I want to take my makeup off and I want to, like, put my pajamas on and go to bed. Um, but I thought I would come back with my final thoughts on this foundation. So I did put it on at 11, and you can see, like, I am a little... Um, oily but actually I don't even feel that oily um but I really like how this foundation looks I definitely think this is my best skin um when I first put it on I have to admit I definitely was apprehensive I didn't think it was that great of a coverage um but how this has lasted through the day how this has lasted through the day is amazing like I'll just show you like you can see like a little bit of oil has built up, but like I've worked all day. I went for two walks. I've worked out. So I definitely have done quite a bit with this foundation on. And I think it just like I would actually be okay like going out to dinner right now with this look. It probably would be even better if I blotted. Um, but I really like this foundation. So in terms of my overall review, I definitely give this a thumbs up. I think it's a great affordable option from Sephora and you know if you do want a medium kind of natural finish I think this foundation is really good for you and I do think too like even like I have normal skin but I think it would work for oily and probably maybe even dry as well so the shade range is really good too so I definitely recommend this so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried this foundation or if it's on your list. And if you do have any questions that I didn't answer, definitely let me know. So don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends and tell them to subscribe too. I have lots of really fun videos that are going to be coming out soon. So once again, I thank you all for your love and support and I hope you have a great day.